performance? Um, I could, any performance I can always do better, but we did exactly what we trained on in the gym, and that was a lot of power shots, and that was getting him out of there, and, and, I, and I perfected it, and, and I got him out of there in the ninth round. Some people were uh, saying that, that I actually thought it could be a stoppage is a stoppage. I don't care if it's 30 seconds in the first round or, or, or 10 seconds before the ending of the 12th round. A stoppage is a stoppage. Point blank period. I did what I had to do, and that's another knockout on my record. I'm back to knocking people out. That's two in a row. Adrian, how were you able to you know, block out all the stuff that's been going on with the legal problems and the weight situation? Because you, you, know, you fought very well, it seems to me, even with all that stuff hanging over your head. Well, Dan. You know you shouldn't even get get no questions right now because our bad blood on Twitter. But you know we we, we good as uh we good as a syrup sandwich in the hood. You feel me? I think that's good, right? <laughs> that's real good. But you know um I blocked everything out, man. You know um at the end of the day I stayed focused. I knew I had I had everything to lose, and he had everything to gain from this from the night. So then, do you regret not trying to? I mean, it was, it was 0.4 pounds. It wasn't like it was, you know, a tremendous amount. You, you drank right away, so yeah, um, I'm just wondering what was in your mind that you weren't even going to make the attempt. Because like you would still be you'd still be a champion. Listen, I'm a four-time world champion in four different weight classes. We won that belt already. We on to the next one. Like I said before, I won't. I will not be fighting 140 again. Um, I'm going up in weight. I grew out of the weight. And um, my next fight will be at 147 pounds. You have anybody in mind? Huh? Anybody in mind? I don't know if you know my slogan or not, but anybody can. Africans, Mexicans. I just knocked out a man from the UK. Anybody can get it. And like I said before, um, I don't mean to keep um, going on on a topic, you know, but. From here on out, that big bro shit is out the door. You already know. Um, like that. From now on, um, from now on, he will address me as AB, and I will address him as Floyd Mayweather. Do you expect him to really take Um, um, I mean, he can. But I ain't bullshit. I, no disrespect to D Rose, but I ain't bullshit. <laughs> At the end of the fight, it looked like you were headed over to where he was sitting. Oh, you jumped I, to the Rose. Oh, at for? the end of the fight, I tried to. I was actually going to go out there and, and, and pay homage because even though. No, Even though we got this, uh, I would say, I would say uh, misunderstanding because that's what it is right now. You know, I gotta pay homage to him because I learned so much from him. So I was gonna go, I was gonna go out and shake his hand like a man. I was gonna go shake his hand and just tell him thank you for giving me this easy money. If you do fight, if you do fight, what can we expect? If we do fight, he won't be 50, you know. What was it about his remarks that bothered you so much? No ifs. Listen, listen. It wasn't about his remarks. It's a thing when you, you, you say you love somebody, you call somebody your little brother, and somebody that look up to you, but on every interview that you do, that you go out your way to do, you talking down on this man. How the hell could you talk down on your little brother? Somebody say you say you love. Somebody say you say you passing the torch to. That's like me talking shit about Robert Easton. Come on, man. That's backwards as hell. I don't know where y'all come from, but where I come from, man, people would get shot like that. I ain't saying I, I ain't saying I shoot him because cause, cause it ain't that serious, but I'm saying like that's how serious it is, man. I, real people don't do things like that. So if he said to you in private as opposed to in public, would that be different? Totally different. Then I respect it. I respect it. A real man to be like, if a real man, if he got a real problem with you, a real man gonna tell you like this, hey look, come talk to me over here. Your breath stank, hey, go piece of <laughs> Somebody ain't somebody ain't gonna do it on camera like oh man your breath stank in front of all these people but this your little brother you won't do that. Adrian, will you allow yourself now to think about what you have to do on Monday? Hey man, listen. 
Hey, what Jay-Z say? We beat cases like Rocky. We okay. What's we going, okay. What's more important? Uh, about the possible battle with Mayweather or moving up and, and waiting to get another world title? I think that question is rhetorical. Five times! Five times! What's important is, 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 is me doing the best thing for me, my career, and my children. And we're going to go to the drawing board with Al Heyman. And um, the, the CEO of, of my company, uh, as myself, and uh, my people. And um, we're going to make the right decision, man. Right now, man, it's, it's about me um, having fun with my family, my friends, kissing my children, my nephews that, 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 that support me and my loved ones and all my fans, man. Did you and get I, a chance to see Roberts fight? And how would you grade his performance? Uh, I, seen, I seen the first three rounds. And after, and I seen the beginning of the fourth round, and I was like, I know, I knew he's gonna knock him out, so I just went to go start warming up, and I heard everybody up uh, yelling, so I'm like, okay, he did his thing, he did what he's supposed to do. Hey, Adrian, how come you didn't try to lose the weight yesterday? Quarter pound. Um, I mean, when you, when you, it's, it's just something that a reporter like you guys won't ever understand because you guys haven't pushed yourself for three months trying to get down to the weight and then once you meet once you hit that wall you just can't go no more you let them deal with the numbers and that's what it was were you, were you felt you lost everything you could at that point i was listen it was over i grew out of the weight class but tonight i handled my business and that all that night what did you think of ashley tonight um he came to do his best. Um, he was definitely tough. He wasn't giving up. But every time I hit him, he made a noise. <laughs> he made a noise like I was no homo, like I was sticking it to him, man. <laughs> but um, but um, I, I I can't say, man. He, he definitely came to fight. But from the first round, he knew that I was that that I was everything they said I was. A problem. Did you, what did he hurt was you? Oh, like third round, fourth round. Um, and he was just taking a beat. To be honest, after the first round when I hurt him, I came back and I told Floyd, I said I'ma stop him. I looked, I went coming back. If you look at I, I looked at Floyd and I told I'ma stop him. I know I was gonna stop him. Now Floyd's retired. I'm a Philly guy. What do you think about a potential matchup with a, uh, with a Danny Garcia? He's free. Man, listen. I told you, man, I don't discriminate. This is a business. This is a business. At the end of the day, if me and Danny fight, we fight. But I respect Danny. I, I love everything he's doing, and I want him to keep winning. But I'm down to fight anybody, man. I'm, I'm trying to be the best ever. The best ever. And, and, and the best ever don't mean just being undefeated. The best ever is going out there and fighting everybody and doing your best and doing all you can do for the sport. There was a legendary sparring session between Amar Peterson and Floyd. Ah! you hit him up about that? Hey, listen, that ain't my business. That ain't my business what they say happened in, the, in that sparring match. Um, and th those are two guys that I still respect at the, at the end of the day. So I'm not going to talk about what happened with them. Right now, we're talking about me. And right now, I just knocked the motherfucker out. So let's. <laughs> so what's happening? <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody. We're going. Thank you. Hey, hey, and don't get it twisted, man. My protege will be the yeah. next world champion for about billions promotions. Robert Easter Jr., baby. Everyone, good job. He's gonna be the next one. <laughs> and you heard my nephew, and he gonna be the next one. All right, thanks everybody.